back out to that breaking news from the top of our newscast and that search for the missing mother. Our Cody Alcorn is live right now with the Newton County Sheriff's Office with one of the investigators on this case. Cody. We continue to follow that breaking news here in Newton County where a vehicle uh, has been found in the search for Yolanda Brown. Of course, she has been missing since September 3rd when she was last seen leaving that pub on Virginia Avenue in Hapeville. And now here we are on this Monday and there is an active investigation here in Newton County right now. Investigator Redlinger with me. Uh, you were out at that scene. I saw you. So walk us through how you guys found this vehicle on the westbound side today. Um, investigators were, we were out walking the side of the interstate following pings for the last week, week and a half. And all uh, tied to the Yolanda Brown disappearance, correct? That's correct. And this car we saw, it was pretty heavily damaged. Just walk us through the investigative phase once you found that vehicle, what you guys have been doing out there, not too far from here. Uh, all I can tell you is that a vehicle with some similarities was located in the woods and that that vehicle was being transferred to the, transferred to the GBI headquarters. And you mentioned State Patrol, GBI, and your office now investigating? Yes, uh, State Patrol was, was called out to the scene along with their skirt team to um, reenact the accident. And uh, all three of us will be working together the rest of this week, and hopefully we can come up with some more answers. We saw the coroner's van out there. Any uh, information you give us on why that was there? Uh, I really can't comment on that. And at this point, what's the status of Yolanda Brown's case? It is still an uh, active, ongoing investigation. And what are you guys hoping that from here? So you got the uh, car out of there. What's the next phase in this investigation? I know her family was here. Yes, we were just talking to the family to let them know that we had located a vehicle that had some similarities. And we wanted her, wanted the family to hear it from us and not, not news media or anybody else. Uh, the um, GBI uh, is going to go ahead and comb through the car. And then once they have all their information, we're going to get with them at the end of the week. And just to uh, clarify for you watching, as of right now, Yolanda Brown still considered a missing person? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Thanks so much. I really right. appreciate it, investigator. You. Appreciate it. So again, still a lot of unanswered uh, questions here as this is an active and ongoing investigation. But again, I can confirm Yolanda's son, Joshua, who heard from during a news conference last week, pleading for the public to find his mom, was here. I have not seen him since. But of course, we have a lot more to get to, a lot more answers uh, we want here as well. And we'll continue to find those answers for you. But right now, uh, Yolanda Brown still considered a missing person here in Newton County. Yeah, hopefully the family gets those answers really quickly here, Cody. Thanks a lot. Good work, sir.